Yeah. And I mean, you know, when G was using Mr. N, he uh, was I, trying some Mr. N shenanigans, you know, stuff that usually would work. But I mean, Argon Ross, he just knew the game plan. He's he's just wasn't, like, he wasn't getting baited. More defensive. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, he found a uh, he's found a legitimate strategy with Street Monster to take the center. Yeah. But he wanted hits and not, and he should have gone for top. Yeah. yeah. All right, or now we got Canadian yeah. Bacon's versus Mean Saltine. Oh man, Mean Saltine is a monster. Oh, oh man. Oh, that, that was, was a really good flame bait yeah. to beat to, on the punish of the landing recovery to force him back into the air for the headshot. That was, oh, that's actually a buff that they gave, I think they gave the stream. If he's in the, the landing of a whiff kick, he can go back to an air special. So, but Mean Saltine's like, kick still viable. Yeah, I know some people, uh... A lot of people dropped him. Yeah, some people don't think that that kick gets enough love. Yeah. Oh, I actually like Mean Staltine using the flame bait to kick, kick himself up. Yeah. Uh, wastes a kick bomb. He might just not want kick factor, I don't know. But I like how he, you see how he's just waiting for a commitment? Yeah. There you go, they're getting close to the center right now. Oh, nice. Judgment. I like how he kept with them right there. Just, you know, he might not have won the game, but he ended up getting judgment, which is still really good. It's a tie. Oh, man. Oh, man, that thing, those jump backs. You, you know, he, like, can smell the feet from yeah. that distance. It's like, oh, no. Mean oh, Saltine man. is playing a, a really nice game right now. Always forcing Canadian Bacons to go into the corner. Yeah. This is the right way to play. And look at that, he's not even moving right now. Canadian Bacons needs to make something happen. Oh, oh nice, yeah. the flame bait right there, that yeah. helped him out. I do like the, the, the strategy of making the, uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, those are always heartbreakers, right when you go into kick factor and then lose. The worst is you go into kick factor and then one instant later you get headshot. Yeah, yeah. Like, right in the middle. Oh man, that was so risky. He needed to stay exactly um, on the same plane yeah. as him. Because if you're slightly out, you can steer under. Yeah. So, he was waiting for him to commit kick out and then punish the back. But yeah, good play, good kick play by Mean Cell Team. Evo Champ, right? Yeah. I approve of uh, Mean Cell Team's shirt, too. That's a pretty awesome t-shirt. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Alright, so now we got another Kung Pao. It's a, a Sonic reference um, okay. from that one show that I never remember the name of. That is a very easy name to remember. Sonic Adventure? Yeah. No. I don't know. Alright, so now Canadian Bacon switches to Kung Pao. Uh, right in the naughty bits. That should be its own sort of headshot. Yeah, so you notice immediately right now, Mean Saltine's not really able to play his pressure game as he was earlier. He still got Canadian Bacons in the corner, but he really has to be careful for Kung Pao. It's a different type of cornering. But yeah. You see what I mean? Using the kick factor to take the center. Yeah. Instead of using the kick factor for you know, as pressure. It's the space that you want. Yeah. You see what I mean? Kick factor to take the center. That was good, at, uh, but nice reactions there. Canadian Bacon knows what he's doing. So we've got a portal in play. Let's see if this yeah. actually takes factor in this match. Oh, oh no. Just overextended himself right there. Yeah, that, there you go. The regular show. The regular I know it was a show, show that was really easy to, to remember. It's either like the awesome show or something. Yeah. I don't remember. There you go. Double KO. You know what's funny? I got a stage to my in one of my matches. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Gets it and loses it. Yeah, always what heartbreaking. Now he has no meter at all. He can't even try any. Yeah, but he I mean, he doesn't kicks. even need it. Yeah. Well, what what I mean, do you need? If you're good at kicking, yeah. What what's meter for it? <laughs> yeah, Kung Pao is a beast in this game. Kick gem, Kung Pao. Fighting against Kung Pao is really scary. 
And uh, that's interesting, he uses uh, L3 and R3 as his diving kick buttons. That, that, whatever that's the second, yeah, that's the second time I've seen somebody use those buttons. That's interesting. I'm going to try that when I go home, just to see what it feels I'd like. I'd rather do uh, down X if I was going to do something with my thumbs, but okay. I actually like triggers. Yeah, yeah, me too. But no, nothing beats. Yeah, I actually use my index finger for uh, for dive, and then I use... Uh, oh, that was... Yeah, I usually use my sorry, index finger sorry, for dive yeah. and then uh, my thumb for, for kick. It's, yeah. it's really weird. I, I play very oddly. People always comment on it. So, so guys, someone before me in my pool was playing uh, index finger on dive and pinky on kick. And they were playing buttons to, you know, like the X and then L2. And that was nuts to me. Yeah. That's some interesting. Yeah, people stuff. have some weird configurations. Hey, somebody had the bongos. Yeah. Uh, but he got kick is getting kicked in the stomach. This isn't a good look. Come on, next oh, oh my man. god, just goes in. Yep. See, that's the thing with an unreactable range is that you have to make the anticipation. People not trying to anticipate. See, like before, she was just trying to take space. Yeah. Then get them into the anticipation range. When yeah. Waiting for all men. Yeah, I mean, you're Meme basically a fraud. He could be. Yeah, Meme Saltine might be a fraud. This is bad news for him. Yeah, this is a great oh, example no. of he's, somebody he's training the other, the opponent to react a certain way and then just changing it up immediately. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very smart play. That's usually what separates a good player from a great player. Yep. Yeah, I was learning that, uh, oh, man, that was so I was being too, like, uh, oh no. There you go, Canadian um, Bacons. Yo Smart Keats. character switch. Yo Keats, the uh, portal exit, the winning animation. It didn't, it didn't appear. Oh, it appeared. You just, the, the, there was the entrance, but not the exit. You, you didn't see the exit, because it maybe is off screen. Or it could be in your I, heart. I'll let Keats know. That's <laughs> technical difficulties. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Perfect game. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Best game. Oh! I thought that was going to be a headshot. That looked like a headshot. Alright. Alright, both players are about to get into Kick Factor right Kicks now. Kick's in the center, though. Oh, no. He's not. He, he doesn't, doesn't want to get that unreactable range. Oh, no. Oh! And, oh, you know what that strategy was? She put herself in the middle, and she could stay in the portal and not be able to be punished. Yeah. Oh, oh and then no! Gets this is not good. To get rid of all that meter, this is... New Saltine has really got a... Yeah, he looks a little bit yeah. flustered right now. How is he... Oh, oh, no! This is the worst possible scenario to this go is, through right now. This is where... We're gonna have the test again. The, the fraud test. This is good. Oh! Yeah. And there you go. Canadian Bacons takes it over the Mean Saltine. Fraud. It's interesting because, you know, Mean Saltine really started off very strong.